Okay, guys, all I did was literally move location from where I was fishing and look at all the loot. Purple pumps, loads of slurp fish, like, I, I seriously don't know. Yo, so what's going on, guys? As you may or may not know, Fortnite have added fishing to the game. So pretty much with fishing, you're able to go around any piece of water in Fortnite with a fishing rod, and you're basically able to get loot from fishing. Some spots of fishing are better than others, and you can also get some really, really good loot from fishing. But guys, one thing I want to know is what is the best way for fishing, and is there a better way to get better weapons? So fishing can be really good, and you can get good loot, but, but sometimes you can get pretty, pretty bad loot. So guys, let's go into a game, and let's find out if there are better ways of fishing than others guys let's go ahead and get right into it hopefully you guys do enjoy also guys make sure to subscribe like and turn notifications on make sure you're using my support creator code as well i'm free in the fortnite arm shop i really appreciate all the people that are doing that also i'm going to be daily uploading pretty much through the whole of fortnite chapter 2 so make sure you have notifications on and do not miss out i also just want to thank you guys also much for the support on the recent videos but guys let's go in hopefully you guys do enjoy so yeah guys they added fishing to Fortnite. Also, comment down below what you think of this pickaxe, because, um, in my personal opinion, this has got to be one of the best ones in the Battle Pass. Alright, guys, so what we are going to do is we are going to conduct a little experiment. So, I've been doing fishing on Fortnite for a little while now, just to kind of see what the best thing you can get out of it is. A thing you might have noticed in Fortnite, which a lot of you guys probably have, is that there's these little kind of, like, areas where it looks a bit weird in the water, where there's a load of fishes moving under it, and there's, like, this kind of moving effect on it. So, the things you guys are seeing here in the water is basically spots where if you fish at them, you'll get better loot than just fishing in the normal water. As you guys can see, we have a few more spots over there in the distance and we have a few fish flying about but guys the little experiment i wanted to do is i want to fish so i want to fish some of the normal water here and then go ahead and fish all of this here and i want to see what is the difference what is the biggest difference now guys i know you can get fish out of these there's different types of fishes you can get fishes that give you shield and fishes that give you health and then if you don't actually fish in here so they're the fishes you can get out of there but if you fish in normal water you can get these things called like small fries and they're just basically like another type of bandage really but we're getting to more info on that but guys i want to show you the best thing you can get out of here fishing compared to the normal water and we're basically going to go on the hunt for the best thing and how to get the best loot possible for fishing so guys let's go ahead and let's start fishing okay first things first we got a flopper this is what they're called they're called floppers now if i go to eat them it just says health is already full now i believe this gives you 50 hp if i'm not wrong something like that but let's go for the second fish right now all right here we go we got the second thing and boom here is what you can get really good you can get weapons but you don't just get the weapon you also get ammo with it as well now ignore the amount of ammo you get because i'm in a playground right now so i think it's just going to boost the amount of ammo you get but maybe you get this in a real game i'm not too sure but let's keep going so you can get weapons ammo in it and you can't you can get way better than tax as well you can get like pistols as well but you can also get like golden weapons now as you can see that has ended that little kind of thing where all the fishes were as you can see it's disappeared which means if we go fish there again it's just going to give us trash loot so what we got out of that was a flopper a pistol and a tactical shotgun now if we run over to this other one here i can guarantee we're probably going to get something like a slurp fish which is the fish that gives you shield or we're probably going to get like a gold or purple weapon so guys let's get it okay so we're going to go over here and fish over here but guys i'm going to put a picture of the map on screen now i did do a lot of my fishing on the outside of the map on like the outskirts just to see what loot you can get out there and i was getting way better loot than i was outside of like the round of i was getting way better loot on the outside of the map than i was on like the inside of the map but maybe it was just like a massive like coincidence but guys let's start fishing here now there is a slurp one kind of going around the water now i don't know if you guys can see that but we might get a slurp fish now if i can kind of show it, you guys there's a little it's really hard to try and find it but there's basically a slurp fish down there's basically a slurp fish down there now if you guys don't know what slurp fishes are just stay tuned because it's gonna blow your mind okay boom we just got a pump shotgun which is really really good and it came with ammo as well all right next thing we are gonna get okay i'm, I'm hoping this slurp fish is gonna show itself all right another flop i'm hoping the slurp fish will find itself there it is there it is okay i knew it i knew it i don't know if okay it was the last thing we got now i don't know if you can kind of look under the water and if there is a slurp fish you're guaranteed to get one but boom now ladies and gentlemen this is insane what you're about to see is crazy now this is called a slurp fish and it looks really really cool it's purple it's kind of got this it basically looks like a slurp combined with a fish which is why it's called a slurp fish but anyway all right so if i eat it guys pay attention to their health bar it's literally a big pot and the thing is you can literally stack these as well i was carrying around two slurp fishes i don't know if you're gonna be able to carry any more than that but they are really hard to get i think it's been like quite a rare chance i've been getting them but there's another flopper so we're just gonna fish a little bit more of this see if we can get maybe a gold or purple weapon i'll be back with you guys if we do ladies and gentlemen look we just got a purple pump another slurp fish as well what 
Hi guys, so something I want to quickly say is you can carry maximum of four floppers and you can carry maximum of three slurp fish as well. So also something you're going to notice here is that we are at a different location to where we were fishing the first time. It won't let me open the map so I can't really show you. We were fishing pretty much at the center of the map. Now guys, this is quite far out from the middle and literally within the first one of our fishes in this lake, we went ahead and got a purple pump. So I'm going to go fully to the end of the map and we're going to see if it's true that if the further you are out from the center of the map, the better loot you will get with fishing. So let's go check... Let's go test that out real quick. Okay, let's keep going. Let's keep going. Oh, there we go again. A purple tack, a purple pump. All right, why was I not getting... Look, oh my, what? All right, let's fish normally here. Okay, I am going to be like... Okay, here we go. All right, no, we just got that. Okay, guys, all I did was literally move location from where I was fishing and look at all the loot. Purple pumps, loads of slurp fish. Like, I, I seriously don't know. Now, it could just be a coincidence, the fact that I just got a purple tack and a purple pump pretty much back to back from moving. But, guys, go ahead and do some fishing. Let me know down below in the comments where you found your best item. All right, guys, so I think we're going to end the video right there. So, guys, make sure you subscribe, like, turn notifications on. Also, also, guys, comment down below. I'm really interested to know if my theory is right. If the further you go out from the middle, the better loot you get. Or if just dirt. Dirty Docks is just really good for fishing. Honestly, I don't know. But when I was in the center of the map, guys, I literally fished for quite a while. And I only ended up getting, like, blue weapons, just some materials, some, some fish and stuff like that. But then as soon as I move away to go to Dirty Docks, I literally come out with, like, what, two purple shotguns or... And just a bunch of slurp fish. So, guys, I don't know, okay? But hopefully this video did help you out and tell you guys how fishing can basically help you out and stuff like that. Alright, guys, so thank you so much for watching. I also just want to let you know, guys, I am going to be daily uploading for, for all of pretty much Fortnite Chapter 2. So, if you guys do enjoy it. So, guys, make sure you have your notifications so you never miss a video and guys apart from that hopefully this video helped and i'll see you guys in the next one peace out